Well, if you're anything like me, I imagine you have a lot of questions. <laughs> It up, don't mess it up, don't forget the words. This is not a good time to forget the words. <laughs> when am I ever going to get the chance for the whole of Radio City Music Hall to sing happy birthday to my boyfriend? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you do that if you could? You know, it, it's, 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 you know what we do in theatre is about human relationships. It's about, it's about the people who love us, support us, who make us who we are. So getting a chance to acknowledge that for him was a great honour for me. I just spent like a really, really big portion of my life, uh, as I said, I think concealing my Middle Eastern identity and it was something that, you know, from 9-11 on I just felt extremely stigmatized by my peers. I felt um, like I didn't belong, I felt like my dreams couldn't be possible, I felt so, so socially limited by that identity and so for any high school kid, whatever it is that they might be ashamed of, these things actually turn into strengths and that we have a way of sort of morphing and modifying. Um, whatever it is that we feel inhibited by into things that actually make us feel very powerful. You know, this play is, is for, as I say, all of us, but it's really for anyone who, who has felt like they don't belong, or who has felt ostracized by their culture, or who, who have been told, indoctr indoctrinated by religion or by a society that somehow they were created wrong. Um, this is a play for, 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 for those people to remind them that they were created perfectly, so that's that, that, that's who, who it was for, really. Like almost every job I've gotten, at first I didn't get. Dogfight, I went in for other people and they said no. And then two months later, Joe Mantello saw me on an interview and called me in. Godspell, I got told no a million times and then at the last minute they hired me. Um, Carousel, I was like in the mix and they were like, no. And when they said no, in my heart I was like, this is supposed to be my job. And I've always felt that way about the jobs that are right. And, um, and I was devastated, but also, I've always kind of given it up and said like, the plan's the plan, and I just have to like ride their wave and know that whatever's supposed to happen is going to. Um, and that's been how I've been able to deal with things, and somehow things always come back around in, in one way or another, in a big way. <laughs>